Hey book nerds, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing my, I guess you'd say like third of the year, statistics slash goals review. Um, I was going to call it my quarterly year review and then I realised that it's not the quarter of the year so I don't know what I'd call it now. Um, basically I'm just going to talk about how I'm doing with my reading goals, what I've read so far this year, how I'm doing in terms of ratings. It's like my stats video from the end of last year except just for the last four months. So this is from January to April inclusive. So um, I'm very pleased with how many books I've read so far. I've read 58 books from January to April. If you take away the 10 Princess Diaries books that I read then that is 48 books which is how all the other numbers should add up to. I didn't include the Princess Diaries ones in any of the other stats but I did read them. So firstly we have how many books I read each month. So January's was by far my best reading month and I read 17 books in January. I read 14 in February, 13 in March and 14 in April again. January was also my best month in terms of my ratings, although barely, so the average ratings for each month. We had 3.77 in January, 3.65 in February, 3.58 in March, 3.71 in April. So these stats oop, can be seen on this little graph. Um, so it just goes along, the orange bar is the number of books I read, the blue bar is the average rating. As you can see, not really much difference between ratings. Um, my average ratings so far are higher than they were last year, which is fantastic because that was one of the goals, is to make it so my average rating is higher, uh, it's closer to four. One of my other goals was to be more selective about the arcs that I read and hopefully have arcs that I've rated higher. It's felt like this has been the case, but it, statistically it hasn't been the case. So I've read 11 arcs from January to April and the average rating was 3.36. This is lower than I expected because I have had loads of great arcs this, uh, this year so far, but I think it's a polarising thing. So I've either rated arcs like 3.5 stars and above or else they get like a two star. So I think it's just a couple of them are bringing the average down as opposed to like a loads of three star reads for example. This can be seen in my most common ratings so far of the year. So as you can see four stars is by far my most common rating of this year which is fantastic. I've only got a couple of two star ratings, no one star or 1.5 star yet, no 2.5 stars, about the same number of three and 3.5 stars, but that four star is really up there, which is fantastic. I think I had 22 books that I've rated four star, so just under half of them. I've got two five star reads so far, which is the same number I had last year for the entire year, I think. So I need one more five star read to have all of, to have a better five star read than I did last year. So yeah, when you look at it like that, I'm very pleased with how I'm doing. Um, I'm clearly picking books better than I did last year and I am rating them higher so far. The next step was to break them down by genre. So this is how the genres look in terms of how many I've read of each genre. I've definitely read the most of Thriller, as you can see. I think I've read 19 Thriller. The next highest one is Horror, which I've read 11 Horror. And then we have nine fantasy books, six contemporary books, and only one that I classified as adult fiction. There's also two non-fiction books there, which again is fantastic. I wanted to read more non-fiction. And two might not sound like a lot, but it is for me. So in terms of ratings, which I actually didn't make a chart for, I'm not sure why I didn't. Um, but, you know, perhaps unsurprisingly my highest rating ones are the ones that I've read the least of. So non-fiction, it's 4.5 for two books. I rated one five stars, one four stars, average of 4.5. Uh, contemporary, it's an average of four stars, which I think, because it is spot on four stars, I think I've rated every contemporary book I've read this year so far four stars, which in itself is <laughs> consistently impressive, I guess. Fantasy is doing pretty well. I've got 3.83 average for fantasy. I don't think I've rated a fantasy book lower than three, so that's probably why that's so high. Horror is the next best with 3.65. 
as the average rating uh, for the 11 horror books that I read. Sadly for the thrillers I have an average of 3.45 which makes thrillers once again my highest read number of books but my lowest average rating overall. I think this is due to the very nature of the thriller because I think all of my two star readings were probably thrillers. Thrillers tend to either be fantastic or average and I've been trying to cut down on the number of average thrillers that I've been reading but it's kind of hard for me to judge what will be an average thriller before going in apart from going off what other people said. So yeah I'm not surprised by that, I'm a little disappointed but it is what I expected. So those are all of the stats that I have and now we're going to kind of talk about the goals I set myself at the start of the year. So I made a couple of videos with goals that I wanted to accomplish in 2019. The first of these were 20 2018 releases that I wanted to read in 2019. I'll link all of the videos that I mentioned down below in case you haven't seen them and you're curious. Um, for this size so far I've read three out of the 20 releases which isn't quite on track but I really enjoyed the ones I've read so far. I feel like I'm making decent progress. Um, clearly I have to step it up a little bit but I've been doing so many readathons and fun Twitter things and other various things that I've had so many arcs this year as well. I just have less freedom in what I'm reading at the moment. Hopefully that will improve. My other goal was there were 10 thriller books that I wanted to read in 2019 and I have read none of them so far which is spot on. Um, I really need to get around to reading them because I feel like they're all going to be high thriller ratings and they'll bump up my average score for thrillers but like I said I've been doing so many readathons that I just hopefully the next few months I will have more freedom but at the moment I'm just reading arcs and readathon books so I need to rearrange my reading a little bit. The next goal kind of video thing was that there were 10 authors that I wanted to read in 2019 that I had loads of books on my TBR for but I'd never read any of them. I'm actually doing really well on this. I've read three authors so far. I've read James Herbert, Peter Swanson and Mary Q. Beaker as well. At the moment of filming it is May and I am currently reading a book by Patrick Ness who's another one of those authors and I should also be reading Claire McIntosh pretty soon this month. I'm planning to read it for Mental health -a -thon. So that will be by the end of May hopefully five out of the ten authors will have been read which that's <laughs> one of the challenges I'm doing better on definitely. In terms of general goals I wanted to read, I don't think I've ever talked about these, maybe I talked about it in my stats wrap up for last year, but I wanted to read 20 non-Stephen King horror books. So far I think I've read nine this year, maybe ten, I forget how many King books I've read this year, but I read 11 horror books, one of those was definitely Stephen King, I don't know if any others were. So again, making a fantastic progress on this. I'm very pleased with that. I'm definitely going to hit 20 by the end of the year easily, if not more. My next two goals I've already talked about briefly. They were to be more selective about the thrillers I read and to be more selective about the arcs I've requested. I feel like I'm doing the arc goal. I think I've had a couple of unfortunate low ratings, which is why that average is lower. But I'm confident by the end of the year that my average rating for the arcs should be higher and I'm reading a lot of fantastic, oh, I've got loads of fantastic arcs coming up that I'm really excited to read. Um, I've started using Edelweiss to request them as well which means that I'm getting some by my absolute favourite authors which I cannot wait. I'm so excited to read those. So yeah, with the thrillers, again, I don't really know how to improve this apart from only reading those that I hear other people recommend but I'm hoping I'll get the hang of it over the next couple of months and maybe in my next review my average score will be higher. My next goal I completely forgot about and that was to read um, at least 10 books from authors I love. So this is a little vaguer to quantify but basically I have a bunch of authors that I really really love that I've only read one book by or maybe two books by so it was to read more by authors I know that I love that I don't make time to read their books for. I'm not really sure how I'm doing on this, I think I'm doing okay. I read The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill, um, which was great, I love uh, Louise O'Neill's work. I haven't read another Joe Hill book yet, I intended to for a readathon, didn't get around to it, but I do have an arc of 
his book Full Throttle that is coming out in September, I believe. And I'm definitely going to read that as soon as possible, so that'll be another one. I think where I really need to do more work for this goal is to read more books by thriller authors I know I like, because then that will bump up that thriller score and it'll help both of those goals. The next goal was to read one physical book a month. I have not done that. <laughs> I need to do that because I have so many physical books. Um, if you know me, if you know this channel, you know I prioritise ebooks over physical books now. It's how I prefer to read. But I keep buying physical books and I'm not reading them. So I've read, I think, two, maybe three physical books this year. And it's just not good enough. So I need to force myself to read more. I did include it on my Snakes and Ladders TBR. So hopefully it'll come up more through that. But if not, then I just need to force myself to do it. And the final goal I also completely forgot about and that was to remove one book from my TBR per month. Um, I haven't done that but I've kind of done better than that. I did a huge TBR purge in January which I'm still trying to get around to filming all the videos for. Um, it's my TBR and haul which I've only posted one video for so far but I should be doing another one hopefully soon. Um, I'm planning to do another one definitely within the next few months. I'm not sure exactly when I'll have the time to do it. But because, again, I keep buying more books, I need to get rid of more books so I can actually read all the books that I have. So I haven't been doing this goal, but it kind of works out better than what I intended, so I'm okay with that. And I think that is all the goals that I wanted to talk about and all the stats that I wanted to talk about. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It should be a little bit more interesting hopefully than my last stats video because I actually got to include the graphics this time. Um, let me know how you're doing with your goals. Are you, do you, are you doing better than I am? I hope you are. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing badly, I just don't really know. It's not going quite to plan. But yeah, let me know if you enjoy these kinds of videos. If you do stats videos, I love watching them. I'm a massive stats nerd so please post any links that you have. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out massively and I hope to see you next time.